I'm Aaron. And I'm Kelly. And, and we're, we're the, the birds, birds and the bees. bees. I'm the beekeeper. And I'm the educator. We produce local raw honey, locally adapted bees, and many other hive products. A lot of people have heard about the, the problems bees are having nowadays. And my point of view on it is they're kind of like the canary in the coal mine with our agriculture system. Folks, you know, would take a canary down in the coal mine and the canaries died. They knew that something was wrong, there's gas or whatever, and they needed to get out of there. So I think the bees are kind of our agricultural canary. I believe a lot of the problems you hear about we're seeing with bees are the result of the industrialization of agriculture. Um, not just how farmers are growing crops, but how beekeepers are managing their bees. I really think we, we've got to get back to more traditional ways of, of, of farming and raising bees, where we don't rely so much on chemical mite treatments and antibiotics and, and pesticides with the farmers. Uh, we, we've got to find that balance with nature and ways to work with nature instead of always fighting it with more chemicals. So our, our goal is to, is to create a sustainable way of living. Really improve beekeeping in, in our state, in our area. The experience I've had with the, the bees that are widely available for sale has, has been negative. The commercial packaged bees, have, Spent so much money on them, and I don't have any of those bees still. They have all died. I figured out raising my own queens, getting locally adapted stock, and been able to improve my overwinter success every year. I really hope to sell, to share those genetics with, with more Tennessee beekeepers so we can stop importing. In eight years, our program has reached thousands of kids. The main goal of our education program is to give the community a fun and safe opportunity to learn more about the animals that deserve our kindness and care. We can't expect our children to respect critters like snakes, bees, and spiders if they don't have an understanding of their purpose or a personal connection with them. Our hands-on educational programs provide that connection. My name is Doug Slocum. I'm the founder of Doug's Other Honey in Knoxville, Tennessee. I've been a beekeeper for a lot of years, and over the years I've had helpers. Some good ones, some bad ones, some terrible ones. But the best helper I ever had was Aaron Burns. He's honest, he's dependable, and he's determined to become a beekeeper. I'd like to retire with a little bit of dignity, so I'm hoping to sell my operation to Aaron, and that's what this is all about. I can't think of anybody I would rather have inherit my bees, so to speak, than Aaron Burns. They'll be in good hands. Making a living beekeeping is hard, and we need your help. Your financial support will make it possible for us to buy out Doug's Other Honey, which will more than double our colonies. This will mean we can continue to offer our community honestly labeled honey, raise healthy local honeybees, and keep our educational program buzzing. So to the fans of Doug's Other Honey, please support this transition so we can continue Doug's beekeeping legacy and take Burns and the Bees to the next level.